what's up y'all it's your girl kadiani here and today i'm going to be showing you guys how to do a super flat middle part low bun so what you're gonna need today is a donut yes i'm gonna be using a donut to do my bun if you have track hair you can use that as well but we're gonna make this hair super duper flat so you're gonna have to you're gonna need some gel i'm going to be using the Eco style the black casserole and flaxseed you can use a stronger gel if you would like but this is the gel i'm going to be using and you always want to make sure you moisturize your hair before you do any type of hairstyle so i'm going to be using this shea moisture cannabis sativa seed oil lush length leave-in and i'm going to be putting in oil this is miel or mel but it's not the oil that was in here i did like a little mixture so there's like some mix of oils in there rubber band comb brush you know we're about to do some edges and some little rubber bands so i already have my hair set up from last night how i was going to do it so you want to make sure your hair is detangled and everything so I put it in two flat twists and I moisturize my hair at night, but I'm going to moisturize it again just because. you have your hair all moisturized and everything just go ahead and put clip away one side or tie up one side because we're going to work on each side individually so you're going to take some gel and just apply it on there And then you're going to like split it and apply gel underneath. This is what's going to help you smoothen out your hair evenly so that it can stay flat. Then once you do that, you're going to split it again. And then again. So then this is when you take your brush and you're going to smoothen it out. And it should be like this so now we're gonna go ahead and work on the other side
hair should look like this, pretty flat. Now you're going to go ahead and start grabbing your rubber bands and setting it up how, how we're gonna wrap it up. So these are the other type of rubber bands that I was referring to that I'm going to be using to wrap my hair in the bun. And to make this, probably everyone knows, just use a sock, a old long sock. And as many socks as you, as many socks as you use, the bigger the bun will be. So this is probably like two, maybe three socks, and it's like the perfect donut. So then we're just going to finish brushing it and just smoothing it out and molding it all together. it's like no lumps in it or anything you want to make sure it's like super duper flat so then you're gonna go ahead and grab your rubber band and put it in a ponytail I have like this little hair here and it always makes it look like I didn't part my hair right, but it's just so little hair. Okay, so it should be flat like this. I'm just gonna smoothen it out with the brush one more time. Okay, so this is what it looks like so far with the bun not in. It should be super flat and sleek okay so then now you're going to grab your bun and stick your hair through the hole of the donut spread your hair apart grab your brush and smoothen your hair out This is why you wanna make sure your hair is detangled so that way you don't have any lumps or anything and your hair can be evenly distributed around the bun. So then I'm gonna go in with these rubber bands and just place them on it. If they're stretchy enough, you can probably double wrap it so you don't have to use two but I use two anyways because sometimes I have my hair still out and I want to secure it all the way in. <clears throat> okay, that is your bun. And now to my favorite part is the edges. Um, like I said, you can use a stronger gel if you will want your edges to lay like for a long time but this gel it it lasts pretty well with me like for my edges being that my hair is pretty curly it wants to revert sometimes with some gels but this one actually works pretty good and I don't know why I stopped using it but um I started using it again when I did this hairstyle and I was like oh wow it really holds my edges in place even with me going to the gym so basically you're just going to like brush your hair out and this is why you're also going to need a comb because you're going to brush your hair out, you know, create the edges you want, baby hairs. Okay, then I use this, the small part of the comb and I just do a line and I create the next one. I probably do like two, maybe three of these in my hair when I do this bun. So that's one side done. 
Now let's go to the other side. And now I got my edges. So if you are that type of person that needs like that extra security, like you don't want your edges to go nowhere, you can use a hairspray, um, any type of hairspray. You can use the Tresemme one, you can use spritz, you can use the got to be glue hairspray. So I'm gonna go ahead and spray my hair with the got to be. And this is literally all it takes to do a very super flat, sleek, low bun. And it's, this hairstyle has been my go-to for like a week, maybe going on two now. Because it's just so easy and usually like hairstyles that are like, you know, your hair is put away. Looks really, really nice and clean and gives you like that sophisticated classy type look so i really do like this hairstyle quick go to probably takes about like 10 15 minutes if you prep your hair the night before so that it is easy it is easier if your hair is moisturized and everything and like detangled versus going in on some dry hair and it's like matted down and knotted because then you're really going to be there. It's going to take you some time to get your hair flat. So if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to share. And most of all, don't forget to subscribe and turn on your post notification bell so that you're notified when I upload a new video. Until next time, mucho besitos. But then you fall back